New tonight, we're getting a look at newly released videos and evidence in the case of missing Texas State student Jason Landry. The 21 year old disappeared in December of 2020 while heading home to Missouri City from San Marcos for winter break. Our Matt Doherty has been going through the hours of video evidence that was released today. Matt. The case has garnered international attention after more than a year of searching. Investigators are now releasing the bulk of the case. However, they're still calling it a mystery. I just come up on a vehicle that's in a ditch. For the first time, we're hearing the minutes when the mystery began. A volunteer firefighter calls 911 after spotting a wrecked car off a remote dirt road. Did you find a driver? I have not. I went up and down Salt Flat. Body camera video shows when the state trooper arrives about an hour later. Left the keys in there and it's all locked up. The underwear has got blood on it. I didn't see him anywhere. Probably some college kid. That's what I was thinking. In the backpack is a wallet containing the driver's license of 21-year-old Jason Landry. Hello? Yes, uh, good morning, uh, Mrs. Landry. The trooper makes the call that no parent ever wants to get. I suspect Jason may have been driving this vehicle. However, we're working on trying to locate him, you know, and I fear that he may be on some type of a, you know, substance. The reason being is because I did find some narcotics in his backpack. As Jason's car was getting towed, his father was on his way from Houston. The videos Pastor Kent Landry took as the sun was rising are included in the files released by the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office today. And this is his flip flops. We spoke with Landry about the status of the investigation and the case details that were released. It seems to me that they're saying, well, this is just a stupid college kid who does stupid college kid stuff like smoke marijuana. So what? He doesn't need to be found. We don't have to work hard to find him. I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it doesn't make sense to me. In the findings from the sheriff's office are some of the videos, messages, and Snapchats Jason shared with his friends the night he disappeared. They include images and talk of marijuana. I know the parents are not happy with us right now. We spoke with lead investigator Captain Jeff Ferry with the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office this afternoon. I don't want to tear the kid down. He, he smokes weed, you know, like it's it's not the worst thing he could be doing. Nonetheless, Captain Ferry says the Sheriff's Office determined it was important. The public knows almost everything they do about the case. When we look at the totality of things, it really paints a picture on almost a crisis, an internal crisis that, that, that Jason's dealing with. And so, yeah, it, it absolutely is relevant in, in my opinion. He thinks there's absolutely zero evidence of anything other than Jason wandered off and we haven't found his body. After over a year, shouldn't you at least consider other possibilities? We have to go in the direction the evidence takes us, whether we like it or not. No doubt, again, this is a tragedy, but it's not a crime. In Houston, I'm Matt Doherty. KHOU 11 News.